Hello everybody. Hope you're having a good day today. It's pretty nice here right now, so uh complain about the weather if you wanted to. And we all realize that. So make the best of it. And if you woke up today, if you're listening to this, then God has given you another opportunity to do something for him. And so think about what you're going to do there. I mean, that's kind of vital for your uh, spiritual health is that you do something for God every day. And uh, you need to keep that in mind. Okay. Our uh, lesson today is called The First Step. And uh, <clears throat> we could say getting to a destination or meeting a goal always begins at the beginning, the first step. And there are several things to consider when getting to a destination or doing a project. Let's say we purchase a product that needs to be assembled. See, to begin, we need to find the instructions and we learn that doing the assembly in the prescribed steps will get us the result that we want. And we, we've also learned by experience, a lot of us have, that if we do not follow the steps, problems going to we may have to start over and this time by reading all the instructions. So that's going to happen. But if we're gonna start on a journey, we, we also need a step. That first step gets us going. And so we must have a destination or goal in mind before we begin. I know that often we may decide to, uh, let's say go out, we're gonna go out to eat for dinner and see if you haven't done this with your wife. Okay, let's go out to eat for dinner. Where do you wanna go? Well, I don't know, we'll figure it out. So you drive around, drive around. How about this place? How about that place? Uh, no, nah, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. And what do we end up doing? We usually end up going to the same place we always go, and we probably end up eating the same stuff that we always eat. And so, I mean, sometimes our life uh, kind of gets messed up that way. But when we're going to go on a journey or reach a goal, we must first decide where the destination is and where they are and basically from where we're beginning. People need to consider the route beforehand or they might be hindered in some way. See, this takes planning and depending on where you're going, what time of day, what the traffic might be, it would require preparation for the journey. If you go on a short dirt journey down to the grocery store and get something or down to the gas station, I mean, you, you, you really don't have to put a lot of planning into that. But let's say we're going to take a day trip or we're going to go visit family in another state. I mean, now we have to start doing some planning. And so there's external factors that will require or dictate how much preparation that we make. How far the journey uh, will factor into the preparation. The weather or the potential of certain types of weather could dictate whether we take a sweater or heavy coat or a rain, a raincoat. And how many stops we decide to make might cause us to stock up on snacks or, or decide to eat at restaurants along the way. You might also have to guess how much money you're going to need for like food, lodging, uh, gas, or even souvenirs. And despite the logistics of getting there, the journey always begins with that one step that begins your journey. See, others who might have an industrious ambition start out small and work towards accomplishing great things. I mean, we all know that Bill Gates started out his business in his garage and built it into the massive corporation that it is. And then a few have worked their way through the company ranks to get to a position of leadership and prominence. And either way, they began their journey with that first step. And they prepared and continued to prepare along the way. The successful ones also learned to adjust their course of action, and sometimes, many times that happened. And we must all realize that we are on that journey, and we have already made that first step. We have taken chances along the way, and for some, it proved to be a failure, and for some, it was successful. See, spiritually speaking, everyone is on a journey. For most people, the destination is unknown, and they go through life without planning or preparing. And that's where a lot of people are. They just don't know they're on a journey. And some people realize the potential of 
one destiny or another. Finally, they, they learn about heaven and hell, and they begin to consider their course of action to get where they want to go. For most people, they want to go to heaven. Uh, if you want to go to hell, just don't do anything at all, and you'll get there, no problem. But anyway, however, as we recall the words of Jesus, there will be few that find the pathway that leads us down the journey to life everlasting. See, those of us who are Christians, we began our journey in the past, and we are working towards our ultimate destination with the proper preparation. And yes, we have to be continuing to be prepared. We have to be learning more all the time. See, others started out this same journey, but they faltered and strayed from the proven path, and they've just given up their, their journey. And so... There is an invitation song that reads, Only a Step. I mean, a lot of us have sung that, and that's right. And this is all it takes to begin your journey with Christ. I mean, if you're in church and you hear the invitation and you decide, I'm going to do it, you step out into the aisle and begin your walk with Jesus. You, you go down and uh, are obedient to the gospel, confess your faith, and you're baptized. And, and so that begins your journey with Jesus. And you make a conscious decision to let everyone know that, that you're going to be following Jesus the rest of your life. So this journey, you are encouraged and assisted along the way. We don't have to do this alone. See, the other journey we discuss, we find those individuals doing it themselves to get to their desired location or destination. Christians have divine guidance to help them get to heaven. See, the Holy Spirit of God has moved men of the past to write God's words down for us. And his words give us everything we need, 2 Peter 1, 3. As we follow the instructions from the Holy Spirit, we can have confidence that God will be pleased with our behavior, with our actions, and he'll be ready to welcome us into that eternal home. And we also have the encouragement of others on that same journey to give us support and assistance. That's why churches are so important. That's why local congregations are so important. Because when you get down to it, the people in your local congregation are really the only people in this world that care whether you go to heaven or not. And think about that. In your world, in your world, do the people at the grocery store care if you go to the heaven or not? Do the people at the library do that? Do the people at the gas station? No. But you go into the church... And those people care about your soul. They want to help you get to heaven also. And so that, that, that's, that's what we, we know we're supposed to do. And so uh, we, we are admonished to keep our eye on the goal. You know, in Hebrews 12, too, he we, we, we talks about the fact that we need to fix our gaze on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. All right, so... Yes, that, that's what our goal is. Our goal is that prize. You know, Paul talked about the goal of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, and, and so we need to have our minds focused on reaching the goal. Jesus is the way to reach that goal. Following the words of Jesus, following the instructions and the commands of Jesus are how we're going to get to heaven. There's no other way to get to heaven. And you can look all you want, you can think all you want, but there's no other way to get to heaven except through Jesus, John 14, 6. So, for all of you who have begun this journey of serving God and working towards being like Christ, all right, we encourage you to hold the course without wavering. And if you're someone who has failed in staying strong, please get back on course. I mean, that's what we're here for. We're, we want to help you get back on course, but that's a decision you have to make. We cannot make that for you. And if you have not started this journey yet, we can tell you there's no more important journey ever to be realized. Yeah, there's places to go, people to see, uh, things to, to look at, but you know what? The most important journey you will ever take is that journey towards heaven. And if you fail to make that journey you're going to end up in a place that you're not going to like. I mean, it just, it's, there is no middle ground or neutral territory or anything. 
It's either heaven or hell, and so it's your choice to make. But we encourage you to make the right choice. And if there's anything we can do, answer questions or, or have a Bible study or something like that, just let us know. I mean, we, we can work something out, and we'll find a way to have And uh, we'll, we'll be glad to do that for you. So consider these thoughts and um, uh, be ready to serve the Lord tomorrow. We have a, uh, assembly times established uh, throughout this land where you can meet with the saints of God and worship God in spirit and truth. And so go to church tomorrow. If you haven't been doing that, guess what? You'll find out there's a lot of nice people there, probably a whole lot nicer than your co-workers and your neighbors. So... Take the chance. Get up and go to church, and you'll, you'll find yourself in a wonderful place, and you may not want to leave it. So, consider these things today. Um, Lord willing, be back again tomorrow with another lesson. Bye-bye for now.